Hi there, I thought I'd try my first YouTube video. Um, this is a miniature album that I made for my son. Um, we took a trip to Edmonton in August of last year and I just wanted to document it and I made this as a gift for him for Christmas. It's now the beginning of February, I just couldn't bear to part with it. Um, very, very happy with how it turned out. I've only been doing this for about a year. Fred introduced me, of course, I am now an addict. I do tons of research, watch a lot of Laura Dennison. Love, love, love her work. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show you this little gem that I made. Um, because I was so happy with it, decided I needed to protect it somehow, and managed to find this perfect size box for it at the Dollarama, and thought I'd decorate it to look like a suitcase. I uh, thought it was appropriate since it was a trip that we went on. So what I did was I ended up actually buying two, bo two boxes so that I could put these metal corners on the bottom of the box as well as on the lid. Um, found this latch on another box that was a dollar. Had strips of leather from um, this coat that I bought at a garage sale for a dollar. So I've got tons of leather for a dollar. So I just randomly put travel stickers on, on the box, made a couple of hinges out of Tim Holtz grunge board. You'll see a lot of Tim Holtz in this album. I'm very much into the grunge look right now, so let's open it up and have a look. So I did line the box with paper that looks distressed just to give it an old look. Here's the album. Uh, it's just a standard paper bag album made from your regular average everyday paper bags that you get at the grocery store. Nothing special, not the Michaels bags or anything. Um, it's been flipped through a few times so it's starting to show a little bit of wear but I think it just adds to the character. So again you'll see lots of Tim Holtz embellishments. I've got a clock and some game spinners here, his word keys, uh, token, keyholes, curio knob. Here's some more of the leather that I use to just cover the binding. Use some large grommets with some ribbon. Um, combination of, I think there's a Tim Holtz fragment in here. One of his word tags. I forget what these are called. Um, some of his beaded chain. Bunch of ribbons. Lots of his gears on the back there plus his reel of ribbon. So I titled it One of Life's Little Moments in Time. So I'll open her up, have a look. I'm not going to say too much, I'm just going to flip through quickly. Uh, I don't want the video to be too long. Highlight a few things. This again is some of his grunge board, Tim Holtz's grunge board elements. Used his lost and found paper stack throughout. Learned a valuable lesson on this mini. I thought I'd put these little black strips on the bindings of everything. That was a big mistake. It's very difficult to open and close some of these cards. I was worried that they would tear apart, but I think I've got a bigger problem now than I would have had. So I added a little tag here. Road trips aren't measured by mile markers, but by moments. Some more of Tim Holtz ruler. So at the end of every page I have a tag. Postcards were a lifesaver. They're great for a, fit perfectly in the end of the bags. This is the hotel where we stayed. Just a few sites. Got a little charm on a chain there. And I buy a lot of charms and chains. I go to Ardeen's. They have tons of sales on their jewelry all the time. I find the, them to be cost-effective charms. Another little tag. This little envelope I made out of vellum. And this is another scrap of leather. I just randomly cut the edges. Used alcohol inks on this little buckle. Some eyelets there just to decorate it a bit. Okay. 
I really like this card. Um, my son and I took pictures of each other at this. It's the world's largest western boot. And true to scrapbooking, I cut his photo out and I just glued it right onto our photo. I don't know if you can see that, but it lines up pretty well. I thought it was kind of neat. My son had expressed that he might be interested in becoming an architect, so I made a point of taking him around to a bunch of really interesting buildings in Edmonton, thought it might spark his interest. He's 14, so this is a really neat place, the Art Gallery of Alberta. Really neat curves on that building. You see, I like to try to be creative with my photos as well as my scrapbooks. Got a little piece of acetate there. And I like this quote from Tim. This is one of Tim Holt's stamps. Imagination is more important than knowledge. For while knowledge defines all that we currently know and understand, imagination leads us to all we might yet discover and create. This is just a gatefold tag. I just made my own little mini flip book out of tags, cut the top off, put some eyelets in. This is just wire that I wrap myself. Just some spots. We spent most of our time in the West Edmonton Mall. There's tons to do there and we only had a few days there so this was the golf course inside the mall. Clip the golf cart on the back. Went to the water park of course where I actually lost my bathing suit bottoms. They broke. That's a whole other story though. It's quite interesting. <laughs> What's life without those funny moments? It's me and my son at Sea Lions Rock. They have a sea lion show in the in the mall, as well as a replica of Christopher Columbus's boat. He was just goofing around, so I made a little collage of photos. I like trying to add some variety. I've got some cards that open like gates, some notebooks, some rotating pictures. It's just a postcard but I wanted to decorate it a bit. But I, I never liked the look of the, the brads on the back so I just added a decorative strip of paper. Just something to cover it up. I think it looks better than the back of the brads anyway. And this is a bunch of pieces of the menu from the old spaghetti factory. This is, I think that was just Hooters was just printed off the internet, but I, I do like to keep little items that we collect in the mall. Like here's a Galaxy Land tag from the mall. Of course, what would this be without a picture of the Hooters girl? And these are cute little tags that I made of all the movies we saw. We were there for four nights, so we either went to the theater or rented a movie in the hotel room really late. And I just made these out of little rectangular pieces of paper and I used my circle punch. punched a half circle in the middle and went off each corner. Printed this on, on the computer and then I just stamped the back to decorate them up. more Tim Holtz movie ribbon. Better look at the back. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you got some ideas. If you have any suggestions for me, that'd be great.